7.30 a.m. I am allowing you to see me like this. And I have to take a glucose test today to drink this really nasty, nasty stuff. And I hear that it's really, really, really sweet to drink it slowly. And then in an hour, they're gonna take a bunch of my blood. Hate, hate, hate. Double hate. Needles and blood tests with a passion. Let's give this a go. Did you say come in? Let me hold her baby for like an hour and a half. <laughs> and then they started surrounding me. Okay, should I come in today? Yeah, that's fine. Yeah, let's do that. I have an appointment at 1.30 today with my doctor. Uh, I don't like this feeling of not knowing. Do you want to come with me? Well, you're in the snorkeling and scuba diving room. That's <laughs> yeah, a plus. We have been there. We haven't done Thailand videos on our channel. Because we have some travel trips that we haven't put up on YouTube. Just because life was so busy. We'll do that. My prediction is that they're just going to have another test for you. I hope it's just a bee test. It might be more Kool-Aid. Oh, that was so gross. Do you want to see my ear? I do. He's coming. Odds he walks in and I'm just checking out your ear. Odds that you do. <laughs> so if you say 30, then it's any number from 1 to 30, and we both on 3 say a number. And if it's the same number, you have to do it. Oh, 200. 200? So okay, ready? No. 1, 2, 3, 70. Three. <laughs> I don't know whether he's so nervous, like, because you're so hot. Let's might. try it again just for kicks. Okay, 1, 2, 3, two. 1. Oh. <laughs> okay, again, 1, 2, 3, so 17. That's so crazy. <laughs> Odds that you eat one of those like on Elf. No. Zero odds. Give me a big number then. Uh, Fifty thousand. Okay, ready? One, two, three, three. Thirty-six thousand. <laughs> I was close. <laughs> Found out Nelly is anemic right now, low iron, so we're getting supplements for that. Yeah, yeah. And she does have high glucose levels, so she's going in for another test later. For a three hour glucose test, which means they prick me every hour for three hours. And you get to drink Kool Aid. <laughs> also, today is day two after leg day. I finally went to the gym again, so Nelly and I are both waddling. Pregnant, second day of leg day. Hey guys, I found out my glucose levels were high and I probably have gestational diabetes, which shocked the doctor and shocked me because I'm a pretty healthy person. I have to go in for a three hour glucose test tomorrow, which means they'll take a blood sample every hour for three hours. So I have to stick around there. It's been really hard on me. This morning, morning I just woke up and I was just really sad about it all. And I know things could be like so much worse. But it's still scary because I think every woman thinks they're gonna have this like awesome pregnancy or like everything's just gonna go smoothly maybe besides morning sickness and then things just happen. Like I remember being like I don't even want to take this test. There's no way I have this. Hopefully it's just for like during pregnancy. It can only sometimes last during pregnancy longer if I don't treat it well enough. And to explain it more, I think why I'm so scared is that one, it can affect me and the baby both temporarily and long term. And that really freaks me out. I've worked hard to live a life that's healthy. I was fit and active. I had a personal trainer. I was doing yoga. I was running. I was eating healthy. You know, low carbs, low sugars. And then I get pregnant and I'm so sick that like lettuce makes me gag <laughs> or I totally eat healthy food. The only thing I could really get down was carbs. A lot of carbs have a lot of sugar in them, which probably spiked my blood sugar and just months doing that probably put me in for the loop. And I was un unable to exercise just because how much I was throwing up. And now that I'm anemic, it explains my exhaustion. And it's just been harder pregnancy than I thought it would be. <laughs> really emotional. It's been hard to take in. I hope, if anything, I at least can just keep it under control with my diet. And if I'm not, that's when they give me insulin. And you all know how much I hate needles. Like, I hate them a lot. Loathe entirely. So that means I would have to do insulin every day, which is self shots. And then I had to like prick my finger to check my blood sugar. Not super stoked because like needles are totally not my thing. <laughs> like dang it, why did I get this? But again, I know it's so small compared to like what 
other women have gone through or have to go through. Trying to stay positive. If any of you have experienced this, I would love to hear your input or message us directly on Instagram at the Durgies. It would mean a lot to me. And I think a lot of women maybe feel ashamed, but I'm putting it out there because it's, a, it, pregnancy is hard. Message me, talk to me. I would love to learn more. I'm doing as much as I can to research what to eat, what not to eat, when to eat. So Bryce has been a trooper. He's been dealing with my crying and my sobs, learning that it's okay and I'm super lucky to have him. So we'll keep you guys updated. I'm probably gonna do my three hour glucose test tomorrow. I just heard you can get really dizzy and nausea, nauseous, which is kind of nothing new right now at this point, but be grateful no matter what. So that's my update for you guys and I will update you tomorrow. <laughs> Oh, 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 oh,